well friends and welcome back to the channel where I try to eliminate your nail struggles by trying all the nail things so you don't have to. So if you haven't, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button because you know you want the information. You know you do. If you're new, welcome to our little slice of the YouTube universe. I appreciate you coming over here and here's my hands to welcome you to our family. Come on. If you are an oldie but goodie, you know that I love you so very much and I appreciate you so very much for coming back and coming to see what kind of banter and that I'm going to go through today. So this was highly requested and it was actually requested by a subscriber and if I can, I'm going to go ahead and put your information somewhere do, 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 on the screen just to say that, you know, thank you for this idea. So I'm going to go ahead and try my very best to explain to you how to use these bits. So these are a starter pack of drill bits that normally comes inside of your uh, starter drills. So I have a more expensive drill here, but I do have a couple of inexpensive drills um, that are a part of my arsenal in that as well. So huh. I thought I would go ahead and show you all today exactly how to use these. So I'm going to use my drill bits and my nails are actually unfinished and so that is on purpose. And I'm going to back this up a little bit because I want to be able to give you an idea of how to utilize these drill bits the best way. So I have my trusted little drill here. You do not need a drill as expensive as this. I've shown you if you haven't. I will try to link up in the cards up ahead which are some, a couple of uh, not nail drills. These are, I'm sorry, these are e-files, electric files. And so sometimes, forgive me for those of you who are purists and who are going to say, that is not a nail drill. It is an electric file. I know. You know what I'm talking about. But for a lot of people, they're calling them nail drills. So you know what I'm talking about. Don't be trying to get on me. Don't get on me. Get get off your soapbox. Go on, go on, go on to the left, to the left, or to the right, that way. Whatever way. You know what I mean. To the left, to the left. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is actually like a pointed diamond bit. Use All of these are usually diamond bits. And then you can usually tell the difference between a diamond bit because it looks a little more shiny, almost looks a little gritty. Okay. Now, I will tell you that these are inexpensive diamond bits. Some of the best diamond bits that I own actually come from um, Erica's ATA and Atwood Industries. Because Atwood Industries, the gentleman who owns that particular company, well, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, was one of the first people that created uh, diamond drill bits. So, so that you can see what the difference is, these are diamond drill bits. These are your carbide drill bits. And your carbide drill bits, and let me get, let me zoom them in, in for you so that you can kind of see the difference. Your carbide drill bits look more metally okay versus what you see here which are more of your diamond drill bits okay and some other some different and you know carbide drill bits can come in different grits they can have different teeth different or rather flutes that um, are on them based on what the grit sizing is so I'm just letting you know that there here's some difference these are pretty much what you consider your carbide bits versus your diamond bits now this last one that's here on the end is called a mandrel bit now a mandrel bit is a little bit different in that it uh, is you don't use this by itself okay I'm gonna back you up here so that we can get a little lesson going on mandrel bits are usually used with sanding bands and sanding bands come in different grits typically you when you get your starter drill kit you have a uh, very fine drill bits this one actually has more of your I'm gonna say medium drill bits all the way to coarse so medium sanding bands usually are right around 150 grit and if you haven't seen my previous videos I maybe link one up here in the cards for you or down here in the description box to show you that when you are trying to prep your nail okay that was if I was going right up under here and I was trying to prep my actual natural nail you do not want to use a grit any rougher than about 150 okay um, if you don't know the lesser the number the grit is on a file or sandy bin or anything that has to do with sanding that means the coarser the grit and when you're prepping the natural nail I personally like to use 180 grit which is considered a medium grit but the lowest if say if someone is sold out or I go to my, my local nail supply and they don't have the 180 grit maybe they have 150 I will do that and I usually use that on a very low speed when I'm prepping the nail I usually do not go this is a this machine is a Cyan K38 it goes up to 30,000 rpms I usually will not prep the nail at any higher than about uh, five to six thousand rpms on this machine um, I have another machine here that actually has a lot more or torque and I'm able to prep at about 4,000 um, rpms but with this mandrel band mandrel bit you, you you need one of the sanding bands to go on top of and you go ahead and you push this particular sanding band on here now I'm going to show you this in advance only because um, you, 
you're probably going to want to do, do you're, 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 you're definitely going to want to know this in order to go ahead and to remove this, okay? So typically, these are very, very difficult to get off. They do have some easy off mandrel bands, but I'm going to show you a little trick that I use. I usually use a pair of cuticle nippers, and then I usually find right where the seam of the sanding band is, and I usually grab it from there and pull it back to rip it off. I don't really want to mess with the sanding band because this is, a, this is a good sanding band that I can use, okay? So that's that. These other ones here, this is more of what they call a football, um, a football bit. So I'm going to show you some of the ways that you can utilize these sanding bands. Now, I have gone ahead and put this uh, diamond bit in here. I do not tend to let my drill bits poke out of my e-file very much because I see people on here all the time even when they have long nails they will have this drill bit sticking out to here okay they will have it sticking out to there because they're filing on a long nail you you really don't need to do that even if you have a long nail and let me tell you why because the least amount of the body of the bit that you do not have inside of the e-file you're actually you can actually mess up the internals of this because the inside does not have a good grip on the full body of this particular bit and it may cause it to whirl in a more of a circular uh, ye, ye and yawn all while it's trying to rotate inside of the drill so don't don't do this okay make sure that your your drill bits are securely in your drill you know securely in your e-file please okay but for this particular uh bit that looks more of your your um you know your pointed your pointed bit it's not it, it's closer to a flame but it's a lot pointed this i would use on a very low rpm i probably would not use this at more than about five to six thousand rpm i do use this as i have used this as a cuticle bit okay but you have to be very careful of the pointed end because if you're pushing too much into that epidural fold that's right here you can cause permanent damage to your nail okay but you can use this as a very low speed that if you had a natural nail to be able to use utilize this to go around to clean up the what what we consider is a cuticle which is the waxy substance that grows up on the nail plate if i had my natural nail exposed here okay so that's what you pretty much want to utilize this uh particular bit for uh next we have this football flame bit okay um let me go ahead and turn on my e-file so that you can kind of get an idea of how this rotates and what it looks like um i personally use this i could use this to actually go around my cuticle because if I wanted to smooth out, you can see here, if I wanted to smooth out my cuticle to get that flatter cuticle, because I haven't flattened out, I haven't uh, finished prepping my nails here after my acrylic application, I can use this to go around my cuticle area to kind of flatten out and smooth out that acrylic, okay? So as you see here, you can see it like typically they want you know when you're, you're drilling they want you to drill pulling towards you okay so i'm trying to learn i didn't even realize i wasn't even in the camera <laughs> that's a big help all right i tend to pull that towards me but when i am utilizing this i tend to go around the cuticle and that when i'm trying to do some finish filing work okay so that's what i utilize this one for now i tend to use this for me on a little bit of higher speed because as i said before these are not the best um diamond drill bits that i own and usually the least expensive the leaser quality that they are for me i've had to turn my drill up a little bit higher in order to really get the grit to do what it needs to do um, on the nail so i'm just going to take some alcohol in that right quick and go ahead and wipe off that dust off of my nail okay all right so that is how i'm telling you that i ut utilize this particular you know little flame bit that's how i use it other people may have other ways that they utilize it but that's it that is exactly how um, i utilize this particular bit the next bit we have it is still another dry, diamond drill bit but it is a comb bit okay i'm going to be honest with you a lot of these um they're going to be a lot they're they're going to be better for use on gel more so than acrylic because uh when they're the more expensive diamond uh, when they're the least expensive diamond drill bits and acrylic tends to be harder sometimes these don't necessarily get in there to drill as effectively or to bring down the acrylic the way you like to this is also another bit that you can utilize to help prep the cuticle area because 
hopefully you can see the top of this is uh, almost it's a little bit more flat here on the top I will tell you that you want to go ahead and take some type of file and season the top of this because sometimes when these are machined there's little burrs in that that's on the top here that if you bring it around the cuticle you make you may cut someone so the, the thing that you definitely want to do with this is that you take a file and season the top of it okay season it all right and that helps to get off some of the machine burrs in that that are at the tip of the, the drill bit okay I utilize this drill bit in that as well I use this as a finished file I have used utilized this as a finished file bit as well and on a lower speed yes you can use it for prep because as you can see you're able to get down around I have this at a low speed I'm uh, right now I'm at about 6,000 rpms and you can see here yes you can utilize it to kind of get around down around that cuticle without cutting you know yourself or anyone else okay but hopefully if you're most of the time if you're watching this you're probably trying to learn how to use this on yourself okay and as you see I'm able I have this in the forward direction because I am right hand I tend to side to side from the opposite of the left side of the nail and I pull around okay so this is what I utilize this bit for okay this or rather what this bit can be utilized for in terms of really smoothing out that cuticle area now again this is another one of those bits that you know very on a very slow mode you can use it to help with some of your finish file activities as you see pulling towards myself pulling towards myself pulling towards myself to type kind of smooth out especially if this is all you have to begin with okay so if you are a nail tech professional and you're like look you gotta use a better bit than that I understand but we're talking about people here that this is what they have this is what they're starting out with so again utilize this for around your cuticle area so I'm gonna use some alcohol wipe that off okay and let's talk about the next bit now these are your cylinder bits okay this is again this is another drill bit that you do want to season once you put it in there okay put it in your e-file make sure to try to try not to say nail drill try to use e-file that is the correct terminology um, and I usually turn this up to about 10,000 rpm season the end of it which means that's helping to machine it to get those burrs in that that's off the edge because you don't want to cut yourself or anybody else and as you see I'm, I'm, I'm having this rotated about 10,000 rpm I am not cutting myself at all okay very smooth this is okay you you, you don't want to have your 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 e-file on too high of a speed and it's very important for you to try to use you know maybe um you can use the flat top bits flat top diamond bits if you are a beginner you can use your carbide flat top carbide drill bits but i don't recommend it because i think you'll cut yourself okay the drill bits are a lot easier to use when you are first starting this is another bit that you can use because this is a small barrel bit okay and this is more they're, they're probably going to say that because this is a part of this kit that this is more of a large barrel bit but i'm gonna tell you right now it's not this is more so like a medium bit let me see if i can find a large barrel bit for you uh okay this is a diamond bit but you can see that the barrel size is significantly different from this to this okay this is more of closer to your large size barrel bit this is more of a medium size bit to me and this is your small small barrel bit but this is a cross cut diamond bit this is totally something different i buy these from either young nails or atwood industries um and that as well this is these are great for finish filing okay so i know this is not a part of the kit but you know since i stuck it in here i thought i'd tell you what it is so that you know just in case you're looking at this and you're like well what is that well, what do you use that for okay this is a small barrel bit you season the end um i tend to like to use this at about mm, 10,000 rpms for my machine it's going to vary but again this is another drill bit that i can use for finish filing as you see here pulling pulling towards myself pulling towards myself pulling towards myself you can use this to help to finish file you know because it has that flat top to get down around a cuticle in that but again you can use this for finish filing pull towards yourself pull towards yourself pull towards yourself okay pulling towards yourself okay now you can do this but i'm gonna tell you right now you want to get in the habit not to do this because if you happen to increase in your advanced levelness of your you know your nail journey if you're using this and going this way with a carbide bit it might slip and go around your finger and you may cut yourself okay you're going to cut yourself so get in the get in the habit of i'm trying to do this because i'm trying to do this on video to pull the bit towards yourself okay pull towards yourself pull towards yourself pull towards yourself and that will help you in a lot of your finish filing activities okay so this is what this uh small barrel bit is utilized for this helps you in your finish filing 
This can also help you um, if you, you know, if you're new, <laughs> you go get some lumpy acrylic. It's gonna be lumpy dumpty, lumpy bumpy bumpy, okay? Because you didn't say, you know, hey, if you are a goddess and you coming right, God or goddess and you coming right out the gate, you laying that acrylic and you don't have no bumps, well, good for you, okay? Because that wasn't me. My junk looked like mountaintops, okay? This sucker was the, 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 the king dream speech of mountains of lumps because he had a dream that he wanted me to have smooth nails, okay? Now, don't just take that as a joke people I understand that it was bigger you know join the races unity okay we're unity and nails over here okay get get that all right all right so as you have learned that this was the larger barrel bit this can be utilized the same as a small barrel bit as you get into your nail journey it's going to be very much based on preference of the size of the barrels that it is that you use I tend to for longer nails I like to use the large barrel bits because they cover more you know nail estate and I can just hurry up and, and finish this for some of the shorter nails and that I do like to have the small barrel bits or if you have people that have small nails or you have small nail bits so all of this is about making sure that if especially if you're a right hand right hand start from the left side of the finger in forward your drill would need to be on forward and you can utilize this to be able to go around the cuticle as well okay and you're able to fi finish following by pulling that drill pulling that drill to yourself pull it, pull it towards yourself okay and this uh, your diamond drill bits can be used for finish filing okay they definitely can be used for finish filing they can be used in the place of a buffer especially if you have gotten the nail uh, pretty smooth as you see here my nail is is pretty smooth it's pretty smooth but it does still have a little bit of grittiness to it because especially if you are going to use uh, any type of gel polish gel polish likes to stick to a surface that has a little more grit to it okay so these these bits are utilized they're very good I just basically told you that you can use them for your cuticle prep work for your nat you can use them for your natural nail uh, prep work your cuticle prep work and your finished filing and for smoothing out the cuticle area so hopefully you learn something that will help you if this you know this uh, beginner file kit is what you have now when it comes to the sanding bands I have said this before let me let me Come on in so you can see this. I have said this before. These sanding bands here that look like there are rocks, try to avoid these, using these, okay? All right, now, if you have to use them, do not use these on natural nail. Tend to use these on a finished nail surface like an acrylic uh, surface because these are pretty rough. So if you really, you know, really got really lumpy bumpy nails, you can go ahead and utilize these but I tend not to want to use these because you know these hurt if you cut yourself they're gonna hurt all right okay so hopefully you learn something that you can use these um, if you really got some lumpy bumpy nails to help you smooth out the acrylic the uh, the sand these sanding bands can be used in natural nail prep you learned today about the the mandrel bits okay I'm gonna go ahead and show you because I want you to be able to see but usually I grab it right at the seam there I didn't want to and I pull it as you see and you can it's not being cooperative today yeah and you usually can pull it and you'll usually take it as you see there okay and you're able to pull it right off okay so that's how you would end up removing these off of the mandrel bit hopefully you learned something today it will have helped you out in your journey of trying to figure out how to do your nails and hopefully don't over file them don't turn your drill up to twenty thousand. Don't you do it, okay? Don't you do it. Start on slower speeds. See how you can work with them, and then go from there. So you know what I'm gonna say, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, life is too short to have boring nails, and we're out. <laughs>